Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So with the pandemic, with the COVID virus going on, a lot of people are in self isolation or in quarantine. So a lot of people cannot go to the gym. And even if they can go out like here where I live on this amazing tropical island in Thailand, the gyms are closed because they're doing social distancing. So what are you gonna do? You need to do body weight workouts. So I'm gonna show you a full upper body, body weight push workout. And what you're gonna need is a phone with a timer to time the rest intervals, which you're normally gonna to wanna to rest around 60 seconds. If you feel that you're someone that is very new to this type of training, you're a beginner, then you might wanna rest for longer. Or you might wanna rest for shorter if you're someone that's more advanced and has been working out for a lot longer. So. The first one we're going to do is very strict push-ups. If you don't know how to do the perfect push-up, I put a link for a video up above. I've done a video on that already that talks about it in detail and I demonstrate it to you. So you want to do eight to 12 reps and don't be doing fast reps like this. Do it with a medium momentum with really good form and make sure it's very well controlled. So let's go. And make sure you do the full range of motion. No half reps. Make sure to be conscious of your breath, deep breathing, circular breathing. and then rest. If you feel you want to do more reps, you could do up to 15. Normally I would do my workouts, but when I was transforming my body, if you haven't seen my year transformation video, you can click the link up above. So yeah, if you do a bit more reps, but if you start to go above 15, you're sort of going into endurance, it's not going to maximize strength and muscle growth. And the next one that we're going to go on to is pike push-ups. So, if you're someone that hasn't got a lot of flexibility in your hamstrings and you've got like tight just overall muscles in your legs and not good flexibility in your hips i'll show you i'll quickly demonstrate it to you so you'd be like here the further your feet are in the harder it's going to be as you can see here the further you're this way the easier it's going to be and with all these exercises if you're an absolute beginner and you can't do push-ups do them on your knees. So with this one, you'd have to put your knees on a chair if you're a beginner to do this. Otherwise, you're just gonna be doing normal push-ups. So let's move on to this. And for every push exercise in this is eight to 12 reps. Make sure to bend your arms backwards, not flaring them out sideways. And rest. Whew. And that one is amazing for your deltoids, especially the front part of your deltoids. And this workout as a whole is really good for your shoulders, your triceps, your back muscles, like so many muscles in your whole body because you're not really doing any isolation exercises whatsoever. I like what most people do with bodybuilding exercises in the gym. And yeah, make sure when you go down with this one, don't rest your head on the floor. Get it so it's almost touching the floor and then come back up. Again, make sure you're doing full range of motion and make sure you're resting enough in between so you can recover. So then when you come to the next exercise, you can do it with the best form possible and get the most gains from it as well. So. Next up, we are going to be doing tricep extensions. So, you can do this on your knees if you want to like this, but make sure you're not dropping your chest all the way down. Make sure you try and lift your chest up as much as possible. So, but I'm going to do it with the full range of motion. 
to eight to 12 of these. And if you want to make these harder, don't rest your forearm on the floor. Just hover above the floor. Ooh. Even for me, those are an absolute killer for my triceps. And make sure that you do a lap on your phone every time you finish an exercise so you can time how long you're resting for. Because if you're not resting for long enough, it's just going to tax your nervous system and your body. And it can make it harder to recover after working out and whilst you're working out. It could deplete you and tax your body so much. The next day you could be feeling quite tired. And trying to sustain a type of workout where you're not resting enough is just not going to be sustainable in any way shape or form. It's not about just going full out and burning yourself out so then you cannot train for days. It's about trying to do something that you can do over a long period of time with consistency and then you're going to get the greatest rewards from whatever type of benefits you're looking to get from your workouts including this type of workout. So next up is wide push-ups. So with these you can go as wide as you want but I don't necessarily go as wide as I can but I just go quite wide so I'd have my hands about this width apart make sure you're not flaring your elbows out and make sure when you come all the way down I'll just demonstrate it quickly so if you look at my scapula when I come all the way down my scapula is completely right as you well you can see what it's doing there so that is how you do it. You want it to come all the way to the like so with the scapula. And again, eight, 12 reps. If you need to do it on your knees, then do it on your knees. And this works the back muscles so much more than any other type of push-up that I really do and teach to other people out there. and it's also really good for targeting the chest more. Yeah, that one's so good for the chest, for the back. Also, the deltoids hits the front head really, really well. And yeah, I'm getting a bit of a sweat on a little bit. Body heat's going up, heart rate's going up. So this is also a good type of workout to burn calories to help you lose weight as well. And it's just an all-round, well-balanced workout that you can do anywhere. You can do it in an airport, you can do it in a hotel, you can do it in your kitchen. Like you don't need no gym membership. You have no excuses if you don't have access to a gym or you can't afford to go to a gym. So yeah, and do these consistently over a period of time. Just keep doing them over and over and over. And then if you want to do harder types of body weight training, it will help you build the base strength to do harder things such as the muscle ups and planche push-ups and many other really advanced body weight workouts that a lot of people only normally can dream of doing and normally only watch people on YouTube do it. And yeah, stay conscious of your breath. Don't be holding your breath at all. Next up, we are doing explosive push-ups. So these ones are very, very simple. And these are just gonna help with building your explosiveness. And yeah, I love having some explosive power. The more explosiveness you have, the further you're gonna be able to push off of the ground. But it's just a similar standard normal push-up and all you do is simple as this and it's going to be 8 to 12 reps again so up like that and as you get more advanced you can push up higher so like there Woo! 
and you're gonna find as the reps go on, how far you can push up off the ground is gonna be way, way less. And that one out of all of them, so far, for me personally, and it will be for you, it's definitely one of the hardest ones. And what you wanna make sure of is that when you push up and you land back down, you don't just let your body just drop where you're disengaging your muscles and not engaging them fully at all. So a lot of people might do that and we've got some very noisy cicadas to worry about that. But a lot of people will do it like this and they're just like falling down. You wanna catch yourself, so like here, and then go down slowly with good momentum and good form. And last up is going to be the diamond push-ups. I wish those noisy cicadas would go away. The issues, the first world issues of being a YouTuber. You can't always control the environment that you're in. So, last up is diamond push-ups. The way you do this one, get into a push-up position, the different hand position. So it would be here. I recommend not putting your fingers together like so. Uh, you want them really, really close, not really close together, a lot of people do it. Instead, balance your fingers out. It's gonna give you a lot better stability and it can be better for your wrists and it can be better for many different reasons. And don't make your arms go out like this. You want to like bend them backwards as much as you can. And this one, if you want to engage the chest more, instead of being here, when you come up, lift yourself up like that. That'll engage your chest more. And one extra bonus, if you want to engage your chest more in any um, push exercise, you want to try and twist your hands in. So not moving them, but when my hands are here, I'm like pushing with force, like, but without getting it to move. And that really engages your chest like absolute crazy. So let's get this last exercise done. Really push through your hands, really extend all the way through, really lift yourself right up like here. By going up really high, you can engage the chest way more. My triceps are feeling it. So with this workout, depending on where you are at with your own journey, maybe you're a beginner, then you just wanna do one round of that. But if you're someone that feels you can go further and you're more advanced, and you start to feel maybe you're doing one round, it's too easy, then start doing two or three rounds. to so just get the greatest muscle growth benefits, strength benefits, and improve your overall sports performance and burn as many calories as possible to lose weight as well. So that's it from me. I'm gonna jump in to see because I'm very, very hot. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe because we're gonna have more videos coming soon. There's gonna be an at home quarantine ab workout, a leg workout and some other ones, including some full body at home workouts. So yeah, time for the sleep.